previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this going to do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home... They're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that, that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys, I'm not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're going to give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not gonna let us down, right? I'm gonna do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? bright! Oh. I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? Oh. Ah!
seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper jump us into? And why? Well, whatever you do, don't stand still too long. Those big, beefy dudes up there, as soon as they're aiming for us. Hang on, I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef! Is it tight? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Be my That was my only decent teammate. Me drop something. Looks like the green team captain is about to deliver a welcome little LP to our newcomer. Jesse! 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 Which one? Please, Jesse! Help! Help! Jesse! Are you going for Ivor or Petra? I'll help Petra. Get Ivor quick. Wow, nice one, Jesse. That was close. Ivor! Uh, oh. <gasps> Lucas! No, 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 no! no. Well, it can't be. Whoa, no way, dude. I got a double. <laughs> no! Hey, 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 whoa! This is a misunderstanding, dude. What are you doing? Hey! Using weapons! against the rules! Rules? Not cool, dude. So not cool. Ah! Oh! Slam is down. I repeat, slam is down. Stop the match! Not since the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah. I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I and think... now you're just trying to be all buddy buddy? You killed one of my best friends. Hey, I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard. <sighs> are you people crazy? People are dying out here. And you're still talking about games? Oh, wow. You don't know, do you? Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! No, oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. 
stairs, lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. Say, can we get somebody to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard, because see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now, which would be highly entertaining. Squash! I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. How about my sword? Wow. A sword. Is it sharp? They don't deserve to be here, Adrian. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. They haven't been eliminated. They're I present the Eversource crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the... How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. I haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> oh, yikes. Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. What about this? Huh? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. There's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <coughs> Harper. <laughs> oh, don't you get started, Mevia. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friends. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay. Okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. I still don't trust you. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, Otto, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? 
sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh. He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. Don't know how I put up with him for so long. You lied to me, to all of us. Hey, hey, I didn't lie, per se. I just didn't tell the whole truth. Ugh. Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well... Here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. <laughs> they didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games, but it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines, which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. No, -uh, no way. They do not get to put my friends in their stupid minds. Yeah, we gotta bust them out of there. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, um, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Wow! Hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Who's Tim? Oh my gosh, where do I start? Okay. Okay, Tim. Legendary Tim. The Tim. First off, Tim is my hero. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Impressive. Aha, uh -huh. there's our nether portal. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you are the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing a bowl of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face Meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When Face Meat has time, that is. 
Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. With your face. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that, and face meat'll think about getting your friends out. Sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh, smells like it too. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I'm now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it, um, well, it wasn't very chill. Yeah, I am pretty upset. Totally get it, bro. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim, like one, like you could. People are like already talking about it. They're gonna like say stuff, compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable. Or not. It's cool. I'm not here to be a Tim. I just want to get home. But that's like exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask. Shall? No, I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Like, be a good person, you know? Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard. Face me. And he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Mm. Go ahead, that should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah, it'll grow back. Just uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One, planting as I go, and that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. <laughs> Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous! They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I'd gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round, if I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything, and they are completely under hate. 
Adrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Solid. There, that should be enough for a table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. I should be able to get my friends back. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. So if you don't mind... Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fished it out some respawn's inventory after he... He's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute. You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess. You want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here, and I like to read slow to absorb it better. So I'm going to be a while. Hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And Slab, the immovable. Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. <laughs> Can't you see I'm trying to read? Jeez. Huh, sorry. That armor is pretty sweet. Not as sweet as mine, of course. <laughs> Excuse me. Psh, wow, rude. before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. <laughs> it's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? I guess I should ask around. Oh, shovel planet. Nice. Wow, they look focused. I must really want to win this thing. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> Oh, forget I asked. Mm. 
Hey, Jesse. Finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just stinks that all this has to be part of it. I just hope we can get home soon. I'm a little creeped out by the people that run this place. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Um, hello? What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, their face meets bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Hey, face meat, got some bread for ya. Bread, huh? Hmm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. Back with Palma, you picked Lucas, and so today in that stupid game, I worried. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. I still feel awful about picking Lucas over you with Palma. I'm really sorry. It's okay. What's important is that you saved me this time. And I still have all my stuff. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh! Oh, response! Jesse. Man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. What are you wearing? Right. Shut up. My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Jesse? As we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the nether together forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. I can feel change in the air. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point. 
but you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Sleep, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Surprise locker room visit. Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Thing about me and my team, Hadrian, no matter the challenge, we always find a way. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes. Perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh... Well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay, too. I'm sure you'll be fine. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. 
At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's gonna involve a lot of punching and kicking and all around awesomeness. Yeah, you'll see. I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors on your mark. Get set. Go! Getting started. Huh? Out of the way, chumps. Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? My body! Well, that answers that question. for the fun part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's with us, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just being more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> Boom. Fine, squishy. Dude, 
Dude, I am like so close. I could do this. Sorry, Nell. I'm winning this thing. Yeah, don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator, formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse responded yet? Jesse, and there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All the stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you, you were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no. please. probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal. At any rate, I, I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on, I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay, if they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No, just Jesse. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay, well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Keep up! Come on! Come here, it'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. I'm coming. Good. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here, too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. I hate being sent out on dumb errands. Like this one. Hadrian seems like a tough boss. You mean... Doing whatever he says, whenever he says it, all the time. It gets old, but at least I get to take out my frustrations on the little people.
wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. Mm. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. It's quite the little journey. A humble adventurer. Lost in the portal network. Now, just one more victory away from owning the Atlas. <laughs> Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal. More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... Messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? Or you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa, wow, well, that's just kind of rude, champ. <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins, ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Uh, Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. 
Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm gonna get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am. Different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is just... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Ruben. So... I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Uh, hi, Reuben. Oh, so? Nothing too much. How about yourself? Oh, same. This is so awkward. So you used the Atlas to kidnap all my best friends. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if... They will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? I don't believe it. You're just a dirty cheater. You know that I'm going to win, so you're just trying to stack the deck however you can. You wound me, Jesse. Your barbed words. Ouch. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah. Except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh, yeah. No, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slap! Be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, squishy. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Adrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'd have never let you do this. Petra, come on. I'm sure Jesse feels bad enough as it is. I did it to save you guys. That's what this has all been about. But you'll be trapped. Probably forever. And he'll have the redstone heart. Yeah, but at least I know you guys will be free. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the Atlas, but I'm going to need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. 
You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. This won't be the first impossible situation I've talked my way out of. I can make a pretty good speech when I want to. Huh. Hope you're right. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. The old builders make you all compete in the games, event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do, more than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Oh. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! Yeah. That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh yeah, because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. That's right. Tim did beat the games, and so can we! <laughs> yeah, sure. Except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. Someday, someone else is gonna win, and they're gonna say that person was the first winner since Tim. Don't you want that person to be you? I mean, yeah, of course. But what chance do we stand against those gladiators? The stories didn't exactly say what Tim did to beat them. Yeah, I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are like super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean totally OP. I'm not sure how Tim pulled off defeating the gladiators. Their fists are huge, their weapons are super scary. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But you know what I am sure of? If we combine all our fists and stuff, we're gonna be even tougher than the gladiators, even tougher than Tim. Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team, You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you. And I believe that we will be free. Yeah! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes... From believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game! That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The, it's walls. the walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. Can I be honest with you? I am a little scared. I'm worried. <laughs> scared. 
<laughs> oh, I guess that's what I get for being honest. Maybe I'm. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. Yeah. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Of course. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat oh, gladiators. <laughs> that's right. So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking. Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Adrian, I can't help but notice. Hey, <laughs> seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just mind, you know. Professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? Nah. Oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. Nope, just dirt. Worse than dirt. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down. Uh, this should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Okay, do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. I try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down the unarmed newcomer, and the other competitors are following suit. Wait, what's going on? This isn't how I expected. Thank you. You made the right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, well, that's could, but don't. This isn't how it was supposed to go. What's going on? I have no idea. Come on. Over here! Yeah! Why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. 
They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that Jesse has decided that deals don't need to be kept and is trying to convince the gladiators to follow suit. Guess what? Deals off. Go, oh, imbeciles! Slap! Slap! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slap leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Swab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me? You got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. I will join you, Tiny Jesse. I think it's time for us to finish this together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. Hey, two slab. You'll pay for that. This wasn't the deal, Jesse. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they... Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. No! no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. We had a deal. And you broke it, bucko. We had an agreement. You promised me. And to think we let you compete. Adrian, I'm not stupid. I knew that you would never honor our deal. That's not the point here. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. Seems like you're losing your temper there, Mevia. What's the matter? Not having fun anymore? Why, you little... Now, Mevia, Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Otto! What are you doing? Now, it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now. Because uh, I will trap you here forever. I am 100% fine with that course of action. It's true. He'll do it. But is that really what you want? You want the Redstone Heart? You're going to have to pick it out of my inventory. Fine by me. The hard way is more fun anyway. Useless. Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. Turns out she's a backstabber. M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. It's your quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. No. <laughs> 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 no. Slab. It was an honor to fight for something. Slab. Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills. But you're still no match. see about that. I got this. Hey. Ah! Had a 
that enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you... forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game... is... No! That's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! I... I lost. Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Oh, I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without... Any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome! Here, buddy. Wow! Take this! Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, nice ah, choice. Not bad. Sweet. Payback ah, time. Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Adrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? So sweet and so pathetic, Mevia. I'm gonna make you beg me for a deal. Seems unlikely. We don't beg sport. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Yeah. <laughs> is going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab lab. By far. Uh, I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. Jesse, let's talk about this. Hmm, is that begging? Does that sound like begging to you, Petra? It sure does, Jesse. Told you. Shut up. Just shut up. Alia, shut up. I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Spleen! Got it! I 
I knew it. You and your stupid deals. There's no time for that now, Mevia. We have to get out of here. Come on. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on. Jesse, you did it. Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. What kind of people would want to stay? Seems kind of weird. Uh, well, uh, they are pretty fun games, you know. Admittedly, they got a little, uh, well, out of hand before, but I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again. And I'm gonna help, too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. Huh. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse, that's wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper, all by herself over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm going to head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? 
you're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice! There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. portals. We're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw. That's lovely. Ah, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The Mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man! That's even creepier looking than I imagined. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ah, I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. It wouldn't be right to end it without saying what happened to the hero. Just say, and he couldn't have done it without his friends. You know something? I really like that. There, done. Tell the next one, anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas or a redstone heart, but it did kind of become a book about our whole adventure. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? 
Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Eh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home. and unexpected twist, it appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of zombies. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it. Wings. Chicken wings, you know. You're fired, Mavia. You're fired. 